Hi everyone and welcome back. There is so much emphasis placed on diets and exercise and, and the way we need to treat our bodies and our self-worth and, and all of these things that are bombarding us in the world today. And yet in the midst of this, it's so easy to forget the core of our being and that is our spiritual life. Yes, I need to take care of this body with exercise and good food and good nutrition. But I must never forget the core of my life is the presence and the life of Christ within me. And I need to make sure that I feed that life more than anything. That's important. And you see, it's very simple that what you put in is what comes out. If you're going to be looking at things that are ungodly and unspiritual, if you're going to spend time with unspiritual people talking in, in a carnal way, that environment is going to affect you. And that environment is going to hinder and limit what God wants to produce from you. So Psalm 37, he says in verse 3, Trust in the Lord, do good, dwell in the land, feed on His faithfulness, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. He doesn't say He will give you the things you desire, but He says He will give you the desires. So I see that there are five steps or five as aspects to this. What I need to do for my spiritual man in order to have godly desires. Not carnal, not fleshly desires, not worldly desires. Not my desires, but godly desires from within me. The first thing he says is I need to trust the Lord. In other words, I'm putting my life in God's hands every day. I'm not depending on my wisdom, my planning, my strategy, my understanding, but I'm putting my trust in him day by day by day. The second thing is I'm looking to do good. I'm not a selfish type of person. I don't want to just please myself and look after myself, but I'm willing to reach out, stretch out, and help others. And then he speaks of dwelling in the land, that attitude where we're at peace, we're residing in God's presence, residing in His grace, feeding on His faithfulness, and then delighting ourselves in Him, in everything, to rejoice, to give Him praise and thanks. And then... We have his desires. That's what I want. May the Lord help us. God bless. Bye.